Good morning, good afternoon, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. I got on an original Crazy House shirt um, uh, done by uh, Corey Holcomb and the 5150 Nation. As y'all can see, that's the nation. That's the 5150, one of the original first shirts that they had out. These were kind of expensive, too. So, Corey, I'm going to give you a shout-out today because you're crazy. Team 5150, and today I'm going to pay homage to you and also um, anybody else that deal with the craziness that we have accepted as normalcy. Um. And that includes Corey, by the way. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but I want y'all to hear me real good when I say this. Um, all of y'all, regardless of your color, your skin color, but more specifically to um, African Americans, okay? Whatever y'all calling yourself these days, black, colored, Negro, whatever we being called. I want y'all to really, really... Take a look at how we uh, have normalized bad, bad, bad behavior. And it hasn't really come from us. It's come from the dominant group. And the more we assimilate to their way of thinking and being and all these things, the more psychotic we are. Um, I don't know of an African culture or any kind of culture that would lie to children um, by telling them about Easter bunnies and Santa Claus is coming down chimneys and all kinds of Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer fairy tale lies. Um, as if there's not enough true stories that you can tell that you have to make up madness like this and feed it to the children. We also have to feed the American public as if we are human garbage disposals and we can only deal with stuff that's real low life. Um, you know, that's low life and you know, how can, how can I say it? Um, uh, that's, that's dealing with a lower vibration. Okay. Now with that being said, I look at, even in terms of sports, you know, because like Francis Chris said, it's everywhere. Um, what other kind of group, and because we believe in being up front with one another, most of us for the most part anyway, that is pretty much what our what, the way our culture is. Um, we like to say, let's keep it real. And so if I'm not going to hire you back next year, I'm letting you know. Um, I, don't, I think I'm going in another direction. Blah, 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 blah. We can do this. And that is the most honest way you can deal with a situation. You may not like it, but ultimately you respect it because the person has been honest with you. Look at when you're dealing with sports. Look how many lion ass owners tell the players, oh, I would never trade you. Oh, I just signed you to a contract. You my boy. We going with you. And then the next thing you know, they're trading you. Have you ever been a foster parent before? And because they're so used to snatching kids out your house and snatching babies from their parents. I'm talking about the dominant society now, whoever that may be. The ones who get to create the laws and rules um, for this society, although their rulership has been psychotic. And nobody has ever evaluated the evaluator. So when you think about things like that, you think about in foster care, like I said before. Um, and I'm going to use this example because I had a young man that was, um, before he was transitioned, he had to go into another placement. And because he had an attachment for me, he continued to, want to talk with me and um, these people were so psychotic in the dominant uh, Caucasian or European institution that calls themselves child care providers or institution 
decided that the young man didn't want need to speak to me, even though he was acting out um, because they placed him in a situation where the environment wasn't culturally competent. And because the European lady thought because she could cook greens, that made her a black woman. It was all kinds of insanity. But these are the things they get to go get away with as the dominant society. They get to lie and normalize it. They get to have all kinds of bad behavior and normalize it. Um, and it's really a travesty that these people could be so dishonest, so corrupt, and basically just devilish that nothing that they say can be trusted on a large scale. It just can't be. Individually, you might have your picks. You might have your friends. Collectively, what they've shown us as a dominant society is nothing short of dem demonic. Um, the lies, the deceit, the gaslighting, the projection, uh, the having the ability to gaslight um, and to evaluate people when you yourself are sick. Um, you get to judge people, although nobody has ever judged you for the rapes and the, and the slavery and the um, uh, molestation and the selling of children. Nobody has ever got a chance to judge you and hold you accountable. But you can go over there and grab Nazi soldiers who have um, gotten away with things they may have done at Auschwitz. You can get them and bring them up on charges. But nobody brings you up on charges for what you've done to the human family. I just find it mind-boggling that these people suffer such a cognitive dissonance, you know, and have such a cultural arrogance um, and um, energetic oppression that they push on all of us, people of color, black folks, ADOS, that is really an abomination. It's an abomination. And I had to get this off my chest, but I'm glad to be back. And I just wanted to uh, put that out there because I want y'all to let that sizzle in your spirit for a minute. Who evaluates the evaluator? The sick, mentally ill evaluator. Because what we got going on even right now in the White House is totally mentally ill. It's totally psychotic. Yet, no one is willing to call the emperor without his clothes. No one is willing to go to bat because you only got six families that run all this media and they're giving you one sided of crap. Then you got a bunch of drones running around here like the Night of the Living Dead. And it's getting harder and harder to find out where the truth lies. But for those of us who want to stand up and be counted, let's do just that. And for those who want to continue living in a nightmare, uh, continue trusting the dominant society who has gotten us no place. It hasn't gotten us too far. So you have to obey and, and, and stay in your heart space. But you have to be wise and you have to set healthy boundaries for your life. And nobody should be able to violate them, black or white. Okay? So I just wanted to say that as I get back into the swing of things. Um, I want to know what y'all think. You know, am I far-fetched? Am I losing it? What do you think about that? Do you think that the dominant society needs to be evaluated? Because their psychosis is just way overboard. And that to subject the rest of the human family to this psychosis that we've been under for 250, 300 years? Let's talk about it. All right.
I'll see y'all in the next video.